Hey, what were you thinking sending Sam back alone like that? He even need us in the first place? Your mother'd give Stamp a run for his money. <laughs> so, how's my son? Seem okay? Yeah. You gonna stand there and pretend this wasn't all about Claire and her bun in the oven? <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from this stubborn ass tree. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Wouldn't know about that. And if you're done making wisecracks, I got work to do. Brittle houses and isn't precipitous oil. I guess there's some kind of Do you need something delivered? show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is... How are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck. Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like... Like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then, squeak, squeak, I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise! <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> awesome! Alright then, now what? Now, we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. <sighs> Guess it's me. Great, just let me know when you're ready to go.
Okay. He rides right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't sink on the way... security than I thought. More worried about the parade? Huh. Guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. They're definitely not here. Let's head into town. We cannot let Midgar win. Not on our own. Any idea what that is? The highway. 
generous pride and joy. The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. Plus you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about. We're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. Have you seen the engines on the highway? Lucas Shinra is a total hunk. That's the ticket. Hmm? Do you need something? Elevator's just over there if you want to get back to town. I tell you, I never get tired of looking at that. Just order the guns. Do not piss off the No, we'll leave them be, for now. <laughs> Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here, sent by Viceroy Saruth. Oh, he introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. I thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you, I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. You always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, and you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right. Beget anger, desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future.
Okay, time to win that commendation. against any seaborne assault. When needed, it can transform into an armed fortress. Its strategic location, along with its air and sea ports, make it second only to Midgar's the company's most vital city. Huh. Neat. Any good restaurants? Sights to see? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Ah, right. You're not the tourist type. Hey, just to be clear, you do realize we're not here on vacation, right? Uh, of course I do. Hey, look, what's that about? Listen up. Midgar's 7th Infantry will return home with the President's commendation. Let's show him how a real drill team does it, and make our city proud. Hoo-ah! Troopers, you're all off duty until the parade begins. But use this time wisely. Practice your technique. Hoo-ah! Those troopers seemed pretty psyched for the parade, huh? More like eager to prance around for their new paymaster. <laughs> now, I know what y'all gonna say, but I gotta ask. What? If Rufus is in town, are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? Hmm. Hell, I'm not saying we kill the man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Or maybe we can. Huh? We bust up his parade! No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. The city's crawling with Shinra troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in, get close, get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. Barrett. Red, you guys find a route to the port. See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. <laughs> True enough. Shut up. All right, see you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. A 
Attention all troopers. Spare uniforms can be found here. Please get changed. The ceremony will be starting soon. Now we're talking. Huh. They're actually kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. <laughs> Whoa there. Three steps back, if you please. seeing the three of you at practice. Am I to assume that you simply forgot? Sorry, sir. <gasps> sorry, sir. You're sorry? Do you have any idea how important today's ceremony is? Do you maggot? Form check now. You will give your commander a flawless performance. And if you show her anything less than perfection... I'll feed your ass to a behemoth! Now what? Just follow my lead. I still remember the basics. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing over there? The commander is waiting! Sir! Attention! Have to hand it to you three. You've got guts skipping out on practice. That, or you're idiots. Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up and I'll chuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Clear? What you've got now begin Excellent! 
precise, clean movements. Impeccable timing. I must say, you've impressed me. <clears throat> He'd serve as a sterling example to the others, man. Congratulations! You are hereby promoted to Parade Captain of Midgar's 7th Infantry. You will be our model trooper, the one to march at the head of our drill team. Which means that our performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now your responsibility. Ma'am! Troopers currently on leave in Larbor, Juno. You will recall that to march in the parade, each drill team is required to muster five units or more. Look for the seven Sprissards. They'll identify the best from the rest. Once assembled, you and the team will report to Starboard Juno. Tardiness will not be tolerated. Now, make us proud. Hey, you sure about this? Is the parade really gonna get us to Rufus? The parade won't. The presidential commendation won't. That's how these things go. The president himself gives the award. Wow. That's some plan. I mean, it's risky, but... Gotta go big or go home, right? Troops, Captain? Yeah. Just remember, Midgard, 7th Infantry. Anyone with one of these guys, right? Come on. Out of all the military parades we've been to, is the parade in Marborn or Stark? Yeah, look at the size of that thing. It's bigger than big. It's humongous. And totally worthless. We haven't used it in years. Not since the war. An instrument of death laid to rest. Huh. There is something kind of poetic about that. What? We're trying to enjoy the view. It's the captain. Oh! Um, I... Uh, captain! Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone. Follow me. Yes, sir! Yes, sir. so I can get in there? Whenever you're ready, sir! Thanks a bunch. Wow, Captain! Who knew you were such a pro? I might just have to frame this. Break time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Follow me. Yes, sir! Everything. Shame I can't take this baby home. Hmm? Well, let me guess. You're here for the limited model, too? 
Check the helmet, you dipshit. Oh, Captain! Please forgive me, sir! Break time's over. Outside. Now. Right away, away sir! sir. our new captain. He didn't know. <sighs> Sir, this place is for the clean shaven. You need to prove that you belong or leave. Uh. r &R's over, people. Seven, outside. Sir! Right away, sir! Live in the so we, we carry only the finest in materia here. We look forward to your next visit. Can I help you find anything today? Feel free to keep browsing. Um, can I help you? Captain? Guys, quick! Attention! Get your shit together. Parade's about to begin. Everyone, follow me. Yes, sir! Magnata Books, Junon location. If you're looking for some recommendations, we'd be more than happy to name a few of this week's faves for you. My personal pick would definitely be The Final Flight. I swear, none of the other books even come close to topping it. It's a forbidden romance between a commander and her airman. I promise you'll be sobbing like a baby when you get to the part where she orders her true love to charge into battle. Oh, well, hello there, Captain. Are you interested in knowing what my book of the week is? I think I'd probably have to go with the Trooper's Creed. It happens to be a philosophy book. There's some thought-provoking stuff about how people should live from the perspective of a trooper. Oh, but I'm sure you've already read it, being a captain and all. If you want to know about a specific book, ask the girls for help. Ooh, a captain! Since you're here, would you like to learn about the Magnata Girls' picks for Book of the Week? My top pick would have to be the latest issue of Cactuar King. It's a must-read. 
The king's been wandering for the past few volumes, but suddenly he looks around and what should he see? <laughs> no spoilers. You'll have to read it for yourself. Better start soon before someone ruins it for you. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, what do you think about this brooch? It's fine. <laughs> Take your time looking around. Quality guaranteed. <laughs> Knock him dead at the brain. Hey, what do you think about this brooch? It's fine. You think my girlfriend would like it? Let me take a closer look. This brooch has two machine guns on it, and you want to give it to your girlfriend? Bro. Yeah. Oh, Captain. Perfect timing. I'm picking out a present for my girlfriend. Which do you think she'd like more? The machine gun brooch or the bayonet one? Don't bother the captain with your bullshit. Sorry, sir. He's being an idiot. R&R's over, people. Seven, outside. Yes, yes sir. sir! The vibes here are unparalleled. Thanks for stopping by. Nice uniforms. Aw, how'd you know it was us? By your scent. That is some nose you got there, Red. Leaving the mako-soaked streets of Midgar behind has done wonders for my faculties. Though this place is starting to take its toll. are you to participate in today's parade? Very. All of us in the 7th have been practicing like crazy. Day in and day out, drilling every little detail. Uh, excuse me, but we're in the middle of an interview. Oh! Uh, good day, Captain! Uh, oh! You're their captain! This is perfect! If you have a moment, I'd love to ask you some questions about the parade. Uh... Sorry, but... How do you plan to set your team apart from the competition? Are there any special routines you've been practicing? We, uh... <sighs> right! I see what you mean, Captain! We can't go spilling our secrets to anyone who asks, especially on camera. Break time's over, people. The parade's about to begin. Follow me. Sir! to learn. True that. I doubt he's got any idea what Midgar units can do. Not now, buddy. We're busy. Oh! Captain! I didn't realize! Sorry, sir! Practice is over. Time for the real deal. With me. Yes, yes sir! sir! Rufus 
Junon is winning that commendation. Call me biased if you wish, but I believe our Afrit formation is the pinnacle of perfection. I don't know. The Grenadier's Rameau is pretty tight, too. Huh. Captain! Sir, permission to ask a question. What formations do you intend to utilize for our performance? Uh, that depends on the readiness of my men. But you can rest assured that your captain has everything under control. Is that clear? Now, out! Sir! sir. Yes, yes, sir! sir. be officially joining the counter-terrorism unit. Shit! I know. They haven't even told me where I'm gonna be stationed. This... Can we help you? We're kind of in the middle of something. Check the helmet! Oh, Captain! I, I didn't... I'm sorry, sir! Break time's over. Outside. Now. Yes, yes sir! Seventh Infantry, reporting is ordered, ma'am. And on time. Good. <laughs> the parade is scheduled to begin shortly. I trust your team is ready, Captain.
our 7th Infantry! Attention! You're on! Listen up. As we march, the eyes of the whole world will be watching us. And we, uh... And we cannot, we will not, let our great city of Midgard down! Failure is not an option. It's a big ask, but we can do it, together. Because we have our captain to guide us. Look to him, trust in him, and he will lead us to victory. So long as we follow. Isn't that right, sir? Uh, right. Now bring it home. Today is our day. It was made for the 7th Infantry. We will win that commendation for our city. And we will return home as champions! Yes, sir! Who's gonna show the rest of them how it's done? We are! I can't hear you! We are! Captain, the parade's about to start. Don't want to be late, sir. Of course. When did we last use her? Five years ago, sir. Let's blow off the dust. But, but, sir... Even a ceremonial display would constitute a violation of the ceasefire. Wutai would view it as a willful act of aggression. And? It's a new era. Let's ring it in with a bang. <laughs> Very good, sir. Very good. Nothing like fireworks to rouse the spirits. Mr. President, it's time. of the century. As you can see, the streets of Junon are abuzz with excitement. People have turned out in droves to catch a glimpse of the new president, Rufus Shinra. And here comes Midgar's mobile unit. Their incredible skills are truly a sight to behold. Ready to fire, sir. Welcome to the New World Order. Gentlemen, with a single blast of Junon's famous cannon, Rufus Shinra has announced his arrival. Join 
us in Starboard Junon as the final team of the day takes their position. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Midgar 7th Infantry. The captain and his team have trained long and hard, determined to win the presidential commendation for everyone back home in Midgar. I can't wait to see what kind of performance they'll put on today. Troopers of the 7th Infantry, make us proud. Left, face. Formation, change. It all looks a little stiff. That practice is paying off. It all looks so effortless. Final sequence, begin. Such excellent direction. Practice makes perfect. What a performance. You're watching history in the making, folks. They're in perfect sync. concludes the first part of today's performance by the 7th Infantry Drill Team. Our judges are currently tabulating the votes from you, the viewers. And here they are now. Frankly, I'm already blown away. And folks here seem to agree, the crowd is loving it. The only question is how they're going to top this. Drill Team, halt! First sequence. Begin! This is looking promising. It all looks so effortless. Such Formation, change! Their movements are so crisp and clean. Watching history in the making, folks. They're in perfect Final sequence. Sync. Begin. What a performance. Practice makes perfect. The 7th Infantry concludes the second part of their performance. As ever, our judges have been busy tallying all the votes we've received. So let's take a look at the results. Universal acclaim, and little wonder given the skill and coordination on display. Keep this up and the 7th might well be destined for glory. I wouldn't bet against them. Formation, change! They're doing quite well. I can't and take my eyes off March. Them. It all looks so effortless. That practice is paying off. Excellent direction. Drill team, what a performance! Drill team, shift! It all looks so effortless. They're in perfect sync. Final sequence, begin! Their movements are so crisp and clean. Watching history in the making, folks. I can't take my eyes off them. And with that, we've reached Talking the end of the Seventh Infantry's <laughs> performance. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. For the final.
final time, the judges are tallying the votes for you, the viewers. <laughs> and now, let's see the results. Listen to that crowd. Judging by this response, it's clear that Midgar's 7th Infantry has made a lot of new fans. There's no denying it, folks. That was a performance for the ages. The moment of truth for our competitors. Which team will take home the commendation? Stay tuned to find out. Yes, sir. Around the clock. They remain unaware. Leave them to me. I want you and your people tracking the ropes. Understood. We're back on the clock. I trust you know the mission by now. to congratulate you on the stirring performance you've done your company proud. Your passion and patriotism is beyond question, and I know our president can't wait to thank you all. <laughs> of course, some among you are deserving of special praise. For our first award, we will recognize the division whose exemplary display eclipsed all others. The prize for outstanding performance goes to... Midgar 7th Infantry! If you would do the honor, sir. The late president, my father, single-handedly turned a small arms manufacturer into the greatest company the world has ever seen and transformed all of our lives with the miracle of Mako. So I invite you to join me in a moment of silence for a great man gone too soon. We live in challenging times. Some may feel that I am too young too inexperienced to lead us. But to them, and to you all, I say this. The Shinra Electric Power Company will endure. The challenges we face can be overcome if we summon our courage and cut ties with the past. Yesterday is behind us. We must look instead to the promise of tomorrow, for today is a new day. And the first of a long, arduous journey which we must take together. Follow me, and we will reach our promised land. This I do solemnly swear before you all, as president of the Shinra Electric Power Company. My friends, 
place your trust in me, and together will we achieve our dream of a better world. a commendation to present. The award goes to Midgar's 7th Infantry. <laughs> To accept this award on behalf of the team, three of the best will now join me. Come on up. The president has invited three members of the 7th Infantry to come and accept the award on the drill team's behalf. Salute! Your performance today was nothing short of incredible. Midgar's 7th Infantry is, without a doubt, the pride of our people. Congratulations. <laughs> the president offers his congratulations to the team. When we only imagine the most great troopers... I have a few private words to say to these troopers. Cut the feed. Sir! You! You're on crowd control! That ain't right. Excuse me! Need to get through! Barrett, over there. Of all the times, I rarely talk to the rank and file. Why not take off your helmet? Cloud Strife. That was a first class performance. One worthy of a soldier. Stand down. But, sir! You are a fascinating individual, Cloud Strife. Your file was as gripping as it was enlightening. Which is why I have a proposition for you. At present, Midgar requires my full and undivided attention. The city is Shinra's beating heart. Its devastation is a humiliation, and the world must see us rebuild. To that end, I need to refocus my efforts and push certain duties to one side. Get to the point. My father left me a mountain of unfinished tasks, like the recapture of a fugitive of ancient descent the recovery of a stolen lab specimen, and, of course, the arrest and execution of Avalanche. None of which, frankly, are of any interest to me whatsoever. I'd gladly wash my hands of it all. So what? You're gonna let us go? Just like that? Yes. Provided you keep your distance from Midgar, that is. No more stirring the proverbial pot. And the same goes for me? But why?
Because I have a new vision for Shinra. So we go free. And you get? Sephiroth, dead. <laughs> He's an unsavory relic of our past. And I want him gone. But in our current state, Shinra lacks the resources to get the job done. So I turn to you. It's a deal. You have a lead, I take it. The guys in black robes. Clever you. You know who they are, don't you? According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. Follow them and you'll find him. Right. Seems like a good way up. Shinra, time to pay. Focus. So, we have ourselves a deal then. Only if you can Take honor your time. No one comes for you us. You know you can't do Hojo, this. Not the Turks. No one. <laughs> you have my word. Here goes. Gotcha. your game. It wasn't us. Spare me. You've had your chance. Sir, please! Swing the rooftops now! Don't let them get away! <laughs> Yuffie, that was her, right? Yeah. What do we do? Get the hell out of here. Hey. What happened to Rufus? Long gone. Shit. So what now? I saw one of the robed men. He was headed for the port. Let's follow him. The place is on alert. Are you sure about that? We've still got the uniforms. Go on without me. I'll take care of the 7th Infantry. Throw him off the scent. Alone? You sure? Trust me. It's easier this way. Captain! Get going. Sir, your orders! Just received new intel. The suspect is en route to Larbor Junon. I'm to convey this information to all nearby units. 
Go join the search. I'll catch up. If I may, sir. We've heard rumors that there are others in league with the terrorists. Conspirators in stolen uniforms. For your own safety, sir, allow us to accompany you. Midgar 7th Infantry never leaves a man behind. Right. If the enemy is among us, other units are a potential threat, and we must treat them as such. Uh, good point. But you can trust us, sir. Like we trust you. We'll alert all units from here to the port elevator. When that's done, we'll regroup with the rest of Arbor Juno. Got it? Yes, sir! This won't take long. Let's do 
infiltrated the Seven, do you? Never doubt your brothers. Yes, yes sir! Let's go. 
Sorry. to have told me you wanted to join the parade, my friend. The mobile unit would have loved to have you. <laughs> Again at long last. Picture it. A duel to end all duels. Are we fighting or what? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to set the stage. First, the music! Let's not forget the lights!
stronger and faster with every lap. Who's next? Come now. This match was ours alone. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your champion! I must say, you have proven yourself as a capable leader of men. Then again, I expected nothing less than the best. As a leader of my own band of brothers, I hold you in the highest respect. And so for you, our fearless captain, a gift. I insist. yourself. I bid you bon voyage, my friend. You guys head Lardboard without me. Sir, I have to ask. Oh, the jackass with the bike? He's... a jackass. That we know, sir. What I wanted to ask is, why you keep trying to shake us? Are we really that much of a burden to you? Are you the assassin everyone's looking for? For what it's worth, I want you to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no need to take the joke that far, Captain. We know the culprit's a young woman, just lightening the mood. But we get it. You clearly have things to do. Things you can't divulge to us. We're sorry that we didn't see it sooner, sir. Sorry, sorry sir! It's okay. At ease. The fact is, we would have never won that commendation if you hadn't brought us all together. I might be out of line for saying this since we only just met, but the Seventh feels more like a family than ever, and we hope you feel the same. You're not out of line. It's been an honor, Trooper. But you're right. It's time you guys went your way, and I went mine. Will we see each other again, sir? <laughs> Count on it.
I'm just relieved the president is okay. Can we please set sail already? Just trust in Shinra and think, think they caught whoever was behind that attack yet? <sighs> you okay? Yeah. Great. Now then. Let's not keep our friends waiting. We better get in line. All right, next. They're screening passengers. What now? We try the back door. I think they caught whoever was behind them. Just trust in Shinra and things will be fine. Can I help you? Yeah, we're, uh... We're the winners of the President's Commendation. As a reward, we got a trip to Costa del Sol. The Commander-in-Chief said that we could hitch a ride on your ship. First time hearing of this. Well, the President's a busy man. Those guys with you too? <laughs> Where'd they come from? Captain, sorry, but you're needed on deck. The fight's broken out. Looks like we're in for another fun crossing. Got space in second class. Be sure to mind your P's and Q's, huh? A lot of bigwigs on board. As for you, back to work. Aye, sir. Oh, and your dog stays in the hold. Got it. 